Pleasant good morning. Welcome to Transwest Truck Trailer RV. We're located in Federal, Colorado. I've had so many calls when I first did the the last well when I did the last uh, red one one of six we had and of course we got another one in brand new to the lot uh, soon from now you'll see photos online but I wanted to present this video to you guys today to let you guys know we do have a red Freightliner M2 106 on the lot this exterior is Viper red interior is black with a carbon fiber look and of course again we're gonna go over some of the features on this unit if you guys are definitely interested feel free to uh, send a comment below send me uh, a text call email me this one will not last on this lot for a while I I have a strong feeling because a lot of people love that Viper red color again let's take a look at this brand new 2023 Freightliner M2106 Summit Hauler conversion in Viper red again the front look is amazing to have the red and that chrome piece together. Uh, we do have that Summit Hauler grill. It's a three-piece grill. We got that front end, a bigger grill that, that protects up front. And then you have that center piece over here. And then we add that bottom piece added on to that three-piece bumper. Again, all designed by the C9 company. I want to thank you guys out there for always doing an amazing job with our grills. With the newer, from the last of our 21s into 23s, we do have those LED headlamps. A lot of people love that look instead of the orange bulbs. Those LED headlamps are very bright, nice and white at night, and gives you that clear view while driving. Again, the three-piece bumper, one of the cool things about that and Freightliner is that if you are in an accident or you, are, you damage any piece of that bumper, you can replace that particular piece. You don't have to replace the whole bumper. If you come a little bit closer here, you guys will see a little notch in the hood. That's a little handle. That helps you to open up that hood. There are two straps on either side of that hood. You hold it down. Even one of your younger kids could actually pull this open if he's tall enough. But again, very easy to open and close. And let's take a look underneath the hood. What you guys are looking at here is a Cummins 8.9 liter engine. It's also partnered with the Allison six-speed automatic transmission. This one is a 3200 TRV transmission. Uh, also, this unit produces 360 horsepower and about 1,150 foot-pounds of torque. Nice and clean unit. Again, it just came in. We ran it for the shop. Uh, nothing is wrong with this unit at all, even though it's brand new. We set our text on it, make sure there's no leaks. Everything is in working condition and so on. So again, some of the things to point out here, the batteries are located underneath that back bench of that cab. So we do have our positive and negative studs on here. So easy access to that. As we go down to the tires, you see we have those Michelin tires. Those are 25580 R22.5s. We also added um, extenders for adding air to the tires and also auto balancers throughout this truck so all four corners of this truck have those auto balancers and of course we put those nut caps and that centerpiece on that unit and one of the cool things about freightliner is everything you see pretty much clearly labeled so everywhere you go even in the engine uh, everything is clearly labeled another cool feature here is that soft close here i'm here with one finger pushing down <laughs> that's to show you how cool this is uh, soft close Again, remember to strap down both sides of this unit before heading down the road. You don't want this hood opening up while driving. And I love just closing it down even though I'm doing a video. Kiss me doing it the right way all the time. So closing that up would avoid any incidents. For future reference, I know the stock number will be on the uh, screen. But again, a little reference here once everything is online. You guys could go on 5N221743. Checking out those mirrors. We do call those a brake rim mirror. So if in case you are in a tight spot and you end up hitting the branch or something, it closes on itself. It doesn't break. So you just have to come out, put it back in place. The top mirrors are powered and heated. The bottom mirrors are manually adjusted. So you just come out and adjust it as needed. One of the cool things I love is those steps. Uh, we do create a nice little pocket here, nice little door to protect your diesel and death tank. 
So we do have an we do have an additional 50 gallon tank on the opposite side. So 100 gallons in total. And then you have a six gallon depth tank. Again, these are all lockable. So you do have a key to lock those compartments. Engine block heater. The black over there is your trickle charger for your battery. And since we mentioned the batteries, I'm gonna point out to you where those batteries are located. So if you open up the passenger door on the driver's side, there is this casing right here with four screws. You undo the screws, this piece comes out and you have access to those batteries as you guys could see underneath that back seat. Since we have the door open, I'm gonna show you guys that back area. So that back bench does turn into a bed. It is DOT certified for a sleeper. So if you guys needed to rest at a truck stop or somewhere, uh, you feel free to launch that back bench. The switch will be on that passenger door behind the driver. So you pull that down. You have full access to that extended bench. And as you guys can see, it lays down flat. You could actually carry a blanket or a pillow or two, have it stored in one of the storage compartments or underneath the, the seat. Again, you could pull that on there, or you could lay on it just like that. Very nice and comfortable. Underneath that back bench, you do have a subwoofer. So I did mention er, um, in previous videos that little black knob I will show you guys later on in the video will control that subwoofer. Again, amplifier and everything will be in the back area. Checking out the door panels. <clears throat> As you guys can see, that carbon fiber dip um, handles throughout the interior. But one thing I, I really impressed with is our door panels with that Summit Holler logo on there. And of course you have those speakers on that angle facing up. So when you are playing music, they could get that sound coming towards you and giving you that quality sound. Mm -hmm. Since we're in the side here, let me just show you the driver's seat. Again, those are that black leather interior. Uh, so you have those black leather seats. Those are air ride control with this switch right here. Right next to it, here is your lumbar switch. And opposite here is your high and low on your heat, on your heated seats. Underneath that, you guys can see your battery disconnect switch. Again, if you're not using the vehicle for a while and you wanna control the power going into that vehicle, you could turn that switch off. Everything, most majority of the power will be eliminated. Um, it will cut all power to that unit. When you put it back in with our summit haulers, we do have an alarm system. So when you turn that uh, battery disconnect on, remember to have that remote on you. You will, it will come with two remotes like this. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. I'm gonna turn off the power. As you guys can see, all the lights went off. Everything is cut in here. Once I put it back in, the alarm will go off. So you press it once, you press it twice, that's the alarm button and then it will disengage your alarm. So a lot of times I don't mention the, the buttons on the left hand side because we're a little bit far away when doing those videos inside. So if we go a closer look here, the first switch will be your light switch. So all your um, driving lights and everything will be on that left hand side. And with the decrease and the increase button you see here, that will increase the lighting on the dash and decrease the lighting on the dash as well so you have that increase and decrease lighting for your dash as we come around you guys can see the amount of led lights all throughout this truck once at night once it lit up very bright again our storage compartments we have the same design on both sides so you got the same amount of space but again you do have an airline your air supply and your air supply on the right hand side but again tons of room here. I've had customers come dro drive here with a trade, put coolers in here. All, some of those who flew here would go to Walmart or one of those places, buy a cooler, so they trip. Uh, and the coolers could fit in here very nicely. So again, that's an option. Uh, this one is locked. I'll get the keys for that. But again, you got a nice little storage box over here. This one is, is all fully diamond plated. Uh, this one does have the BMW turnover ball hitch. Right now you can see that ball is turned over. 
So that gives you the idea why we call it the BMW turnover ball hitch. When you do decide to use that ball, there is a little handle right here. You turn, you pull that ball out, you put it upright, and then you lock it back in place. And as we in here, we do, you can see the lines for our air supply for our trailer. So if in case you do decide you have a trailer with air, we can mount that air supply on the back end of that truck right here. Typically is where we put it. Again, it will be out of the way. So even though you go in and out of that uh, truck, you don't uh, hurt yourself. You do have your seven pin hookup here for your trailer, either for your bumper pool or for your trailer on the bed. And again, we do have a class five uh, bumper pool hitch. Okay, this side is open. So you guys can see the amount of space in here. I have did a video with some measurements. Uh, and if in case you guys do want uh, measurements, feel free to reach out to me. I bought a customer recently who wanted the full length of this truck. <clears throat> it was about 24 feet and a couple inches. So it wasn't as long as he thought. So it was better for him to look into a truck like this. But again, same storage area, dual tires in the back. The additional 50 gallon tank over here. Same breakaway mirrors on the passenger side. Dual horns on top, air horns. We do have one backup camera that's hooked up to our Voyager camera system in, in the interior. Uh, we do have an additional three extra spots to put more cameras. Uh, we've done in the past, put a camera in that bumper pull hitch. Uh, some people put cameras on the, on the sides so they could see the sides of the vehicle. But again, with those mirrors, uh, you don't really need cameras for that. Those mirrors are big enough to actually show you a full view of that side of that truck. So, but it's up to you what you decide to do. We will we'll go with that. Again, we can get this truck tinted if you want. So we do have a few tint uh, companies that we, we work with. So feel free if you want this truck tinted, we can do that. Let's jump inside, show you some of the things that comes with that truck. Again, the passenger seat is also air ride in front. The cab is air ride as well. I'm just gonna turn that truck on here. And like I said, it's a brand new 2023, only 863 miles. So we're gonna start up top here. We do have the Voyager camera system set up and with that one camera in the back you can see that wide view of the of the um, the rear of that truck. Again, even going into your trailer, you could actually see exactly what's happening in the back end here. Again, you could add an additional three cameras. Right next to that, on the left hand side near the driver door, you have that little string. This is for your air horn. In the back of that is your microphone for your hands-free calling. As we come down, we do have our steering wheel. Again, I. I do have the seat all the way up, so it's actually touching uh, that front seat. But again, this can be tilt. You can go up and down um, and tilt the steering wheel the way you want it. Uh, right next to that here, you do have your engine brake. This one does, have, does come with two switches. One, it will turn it on, and then the other one will be a high and low setting. The second one will be an on and off switch. Right next to it here is our Allison six-speed automatic transmission with reverse, neutral, and drive. It does have a mode for manual mode, but you could actually press the, mat, the plus and minus together, and it will actually show you some features up here, like your oil temperature. Right now, I only started the vehicle a few minutes ago, so the temperature is not hot as yet. But you could check your oil life, 99%. You could check your filters. You could check your transmission and check for any codes. So right now, there's no codes on this unit. Right above that, you have your cruise control. You turn that on, you set, accelerate. Again, you could cancel, turn off. Next to it is your marker light. Right next to it is your manual region button. That's a button you don't really have to use. So this truck does uh, regen automatically. So you just look for that sign that will pop up on your dash for regen and it will show you that that truck is regening. So you could go into your owner's manual and see how long you need to have that truck running for that region to go away. Um, right next to that is your traction control button. 
Underneath that is your red differential lock. You have power windows, power locks. You have an optional switch here. This one will be our lighting on that rear end of the truck. There is four white lights, two on top of the headache rack and two on the bottom of the bumper. Those four white lights will turn on with that switch. It will also turn on when you put the vehicle in reverse. And also when you're doing your light test button, guys, those lights will not turn on with that light test button you see me pointing at right now. So this light test button, when you're testing all your lights on your trailer and your truck, you could switch that in. The truck will actually stop. AC will stop blowing heavy. You will hit its countdown. Once that is done, you will walk outside, walk around the truck, and make sure that all your lights are working. So that's the perfect time to start heading out and those lights will be blinking right now, except those four white lights in the back. If you wanna make sure that lights are working, you turn on your optional button together with your light test button. Once you're done, you come back in the cab, you turn that switch on, your stereo will come on, you'll feel the AC blowing a little bit harder if you have that on, all your heat. And then of course, all your lights will turn off and then we'll go back to the last setting you had it on. You have this vehicle is fully air brakes, so you have your air brakes for your parking brake and your air supply for your trailer brakes, for your air trailer brakes. You have four USB plugins here. These are only for charging. When it comes to the USB for Apple and Android capability, it is underneath this black circle covered here. So the USB will be your Apple and Android, and above that is your HDMI, so you could actually plug in a little uh, DVD player or something with HDMI capability and actually show up on the screen here. Right next to that here is your trailer brake system. We do use the Red Arc system and that's a system that we believe in. There is tons of videos online to see how it's uh, how it works. We do have manuals that come with this vehicle uh, to show you how this works. Super easy, super uh, out of the way, not bulky at all. And of course it matches perfectly with everything going on down there. Right here will be your base knob, this black circle wheel here. Uh, this is your base knob. So this will increase and decrease the base or the sub. Over here is your cab, AC and heat. Above here with that red and blue is your rear AC and heat. So blue will be your AC and the red will be your heat for the rear of the vehicle. Right next to it is your fan levels. You got a high, medium, and low. Center will turn it off. Center with the blue and red will turn it off, not the fan. Um, cup holders to run this. We have about five cup holders. We got two here, two here, and an extra one here for your passenger. Nice storage box in here with a LED lamp inside here. Once you turn, once you open it up, it will light up. Once you close it, that light will go off. Our Stinger stereo sound system comes fully equipped with AM, FM, and satellite radio. This one also comes with navigation. Again, it does have that option for Apple and Android capability. Also, AirPods, um, if you wanna plug in your MP3 player, uh, it does have that feature as well. HDMI, and like I said, it does come with navigation. So you could actually tune that navigation as needed. And it's a nice clear view, or you could use your phone via that USB plug-in for your Android or Apple. This one does come in that storage box in the or the, or the little uh, shelf up here above uh, the stereo, and a nice little shelf to put personal items, phones, wallets, smaller items. It does have a nice little pocket here as well for the same for smaller items. Even if, if in case your passenger want to put a phone. When it comes to the lighting inside, you have a few options here. You have those regular orange lights, but at night you have those red lights as well. You do have the same in the rear of that truck. Again, that's a nice little option here if you want reading lights. We also have LED reading lights up here. And if you turn that switch on, it will turn those reading lights on. Gives the, give the driver and the passenger a nice clear view of that lighting. But about, apart from that, in the middle here with that mood light, it will turn on that infinity lighting that I call it. Really nice ambience especially at night when it, when the whole vehicle is dark and you turn that on, it's it's amazing. And again, that bullet light is just for a little blue light you see in that front end here. You can turn that on and off as needed. 
Again, those seats are air ride up front, heated. It does have some armrests that are, that are adjustable. Again, this seat is very, very comfortable. Again, with those rocky areas that you go through, those bad roads, um, potholes and all that, you just ride that very easy and very nice. But again, this unit, like I said, is brand new on the market. First time seeing it today on this video. It just came in a couple days ago. It was, as soon as it came in, we had space to run it through the shop right away. So this vehicle is ready and set to leave the lot as we speak. But again, let us know if you guys are interested. We got some awesome finance options. If you wanna purchase this unit, if you wanna buy cash or whatever the case may be, let us know. We'll definitely help you. It's a very easy process. Like I said, it's been through the shop already. So you don't have to worry about that. We'll fill up the tanks, wash it up, clean it up. If you guys want entertainment, DVD players, tinted windows, let us know. We'll definitely get that on. We do have also a feature where we could uh, get our aftermarket um, guys here locally to put a remote start on this unit so those trucks can have remote start it does have a timer on there that will warm up the the uh, the engine before it actually you know starts up so again they do it very well down here um, at our friends here at car toys so that's a feature you could actually add on as well so let me know we will definitely help you guys out. Thank you guys for tuning in today. You guys have been watching a 2023, brand new 2023 M2 106 Summit Dollar Conversion in a Viper Red exterior, black interior with carbon fiber throughout that interior as well. So thank you guys for tuning in today. My number is at the bottom of the screen. Feel free to reach out, call me, text, email me after this video, and I'll definitely get this, this truck to your location wherever you are in the United States. So thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.